Welcome in. Thanks for joining us. I'm Michael Clark. Up first tonight in Lamar County, neighbors are speaking out about a proposed solar farm near Old Highway 11. Residents packed the Mill Creek Community Center to talk about concerns from property values to wildlife. Our Trey Howard has a recap. But don't fool yourself that it's not going to affect you because it will. If it doesn't affect you, it's going to affect somebody that you know. The Mill Creek Community Center was packed as Lamar County residents held a community meeting to discuss concerns about a proposed solar panel farm. I can't find very many people that like it. Randy Penton lives near the proposed site of the farm on Old Highway 11, and he has worked for months spreading the word about the project. Me and my wife have spent over, brought it $5,000 so far on pamphlets, signs, uh, billboards. That work helped draw a standing room only crowd to discuss issues like the farm's visibility. They're putting 1,700 acres of solar farms out here all along Highway 11. Which led to concerns about residents' property values after highlighting a statement that said shrubbery will be planted to hide the farm from neighbors' views. Well, if it's going to be so beautiful and it's not going to hurt any property values, why don't we do one of them now? Light Source VP provided some information to the residents in the form of a pamphlet, but it just raised more questions like the longevity of the project. It's like, you know, like any technology, it's going to be outdated in 5 to 15 years. Yes, these are 40-year leases. Community members started a petition against the solar farm, and they hope to get 2,000 signatures to present to the Lamar County Planning Commission. In Lamar County, Trey Howard, WDAM7, on your side. Now, the potential developer in this project, LightSource BP, has shared details with us in an extensive interview. We have that online right now at WDAM.com. The company will eventually have to hold a community meeting before presenting to the Lamar County Planning Commission, but no date has been set for that yet. We'll keep following up.